Please like the video. Just as 20th century global conflicts and new forms of mass communication created new types of on the scene war reportage, rising mass firearm murders in the 21st century and the immediacy of the internet have given rise to another journalistic genre. It, too, requires reporters to navigate scenes of violence and chaos, interview victims suffering from deep terror and trauma, and effectively document what they've witnessed in all its agony and horror. You might call practitioners of this new genre mass shooting correspondents. Some of these reporters have covered multiple mass shootings in their careers. Journalists are increasingly experienced at dealing with them, another measure of how routine these shootings have become in American life. Just after a gunman killed six people at a Walmart in Chesapeake, Virginia, on Tuesday night, Michelle Wolf, a reporter for Wavy TV News, got word over a police scanner of an active shooter. Wolf Station had sent multiple crews to cover another mass shooting in Charlottesville only 10 days earlier. In these situations, the terror of the moment must be balanced against the need to inform the public in the midst of a dangerous, fast moving situation, Wolf said. My job at that point is not to think about how I'm feeling, she told me. It's to get information out there that's important. Still, the horror of the situation got to Wolf. Nothing ever prepares you for when it happens, she said. It hits you differently every single time. When it comes to covering these mini war zones, reporters on the home front are beginning to sound like veteran correspondents. After a man with an AR-15 killed five people in an LGBTQ nightclub in Colorado Springs last weekend, Ashley Michaels, a reporter at a Denver TV station, offered some grimly revealing testimony. Unfortunately, I have covered mass shootings multiple times in my career, Michaels tweeted. She posted examples of vitriolic messages she received for covering that mass killing, adding, this is the first time I can recall getting message after message from viewers like this. The vile, deranged hate directed at LGBTQ victims was new to Michaels. The experience of covering a mass shooting was not. This year alone has seen more than 600 mass shootings in the United States. Many reporters now have a deep working knowledge of how to cover them, and some have tried to grow and develop their craft along with the experience. For instance, William Brangham, a producer and correspondent for PBS NewsHour who has covered multiple such shootings, has worked to become more sensitive to trauma felt by victims' loved ones and people who were present during the carnage. These people are experiencing the worst day of their life, Brangham told me. The complication, he noted, is doing your job in gathering information even as you're standing shoulder to shoulder with people who are sobbing and grieving.